Welcome back to RimWorld. Last episode, we built ourselves quite a nice looking base. Or at least I feel like it's a nicer looking base. It's, it's a lot better than it was, let's put it that way. Oh god, what is going on with this floaty door? Alright, let me fix the floaty door. Then it will be a nice looking base. Eagle Throog is unstoppable these days. She has a mecha spine. She has a powerful gun. She has... Does she have a powerful gun? She does have a powerful gun. One of you said, great advice by the way, why not allow them to put on some armor underneath their robes? And I agree, that's a pretty decent idea. So let's go to the outfit. Um... What? Can we see what? Oh, yeah, it does say what layer it is. Right, so Colts' vestments yellow are outer. So if we find, say, um, what's this armor here? We've got, like, black vest and Orion combat vest. I have a feeling are uh, middle layer. Yeah, good. Okay, so let's go um, Igor. And I'll just, I'll just manually put them on. I was going to allow it in the outfit. But saying that, we have to do it anyway, don't we? I'm not sure. Um, let's go black vest, boom, and Orion combat vest, boom. And then that is basically all we're allowed, right? They could also wear some trousers, I guess. That wouldn't hurt. Um, pants, that's fine. They're, they're also allowed to wear, like, you can wear a shirt if you want as well. I don't, I don't really mind about the whole shirt thing. That is uh, layer skin. Um, sure, close enough. Right, Igor, go get yourself kitted out because obviously I want you to be an unstoppable killing machine of a woman. Now, I'm going to assume she can't wear the hat and the, uh, and the hood at the same time. So we won't worry about that one too much. Why are they all awake? It's midnight. Like, almost everyone's awake. What are you guys doing right now? Um, just just pissing around, eh? Oh, quarrying? Yeah, why not? It's midnight. I don't know what I'd rather be doing at midnight rather than, you know, quarrying. Idiots. All right, so what we want to work on and try and finish off this episode is a nuclear power plant, which needs a shit ton of resources, specifically a shit ton of steel. So we're going to have to find some other temporary method of getting energy, or at least a better form of energy until then. Now, what I wanted to try... I did float this episode, this this idea a couple of episodes ago. What if we build bridges that can support heavy? Because there are additional bridge types in this that could potentially support watermill generators. We can just fill the river with watermill generators at that stage. Let's see what we can get. So, um, bridge. Advanced bridge building. That's what we want. Right, let's get those. Allows heavy bridges to be built from stone or metal, which unlike can support walls and other heavy construction. That's exactly what we need. That would allow us to basically fill the river with a shit ton of water mill generators and generate a shit ton of energy. Hopefully enough to power this goddamn thing so eventually we can build a nuclear power plant and then we'll never need power again. Well, it depends what we do. Depends how far in the, into glitter tech we go, but uh, ideally we'll never need it again. Right, so that's down to Igor and, um, who is it? Duke Big Halberd? Yeah, it's down to those two boys to get that done. Um, is Igor, Igor is kitted out now then, eh? Yeah, she's like, she's good to go. Hyperweave pants, Orion combat vest, she's gonna be an unstoppable beast. Ted Bundy is experiencing a shoot frenzy. Oh, Jesus game. Give me a break, come on. Come on. Please, I, I just want one episode monetized. It's not much to ask for. Please. The revenue is so low. Alright, fine. You know what? That's just, that's just the problem with playing games like CK2 and Rimworld, I guess, where murder is a, is a, is a semi-frequent occurrence. Can't really do much about that. One of you guys said research obelisks as well. That's a cool idea. Um, oh, God, they're like six... Oh, God, they're like six, 900 research in total there, because we'll also have to get structures. We'll make the church look nice, I guess. Man, look at the church. It's so good. What are our jobs like? No, they're fine. Uh, church is nice, though. That's a, that's a good-looking church, as far as I'm concerned. We might even want to build a front door. I wonder if it counts as a separate building. Like church for example um what we'll do then we'll actually give that a go so let's go uh structure bone auto doors B -b 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 bone auto doors and then i would actually rather run this cable through the walls rather than straight down the middle of the freaking corridor well that was a good idea right we'll run it down there instead there we go all right and we'll run that outdoors because obviously they've got to connect up to the generators we'll go ahead and remove uh this one here let's get rid of that Let's get rid of this one and instead run it up and round through there. There we go. That's going to make the whole base look a lot nicer. Eagle, what are you doing these days? Why is there a gun on the chair? Seems a bit odd. Um, Eagle, we want to be probably prioritizing research now that she's basically built the entire base by herself. And that way, Yankee Danky's got something to do because he's our other primary builder. No, no, no. You can stop doing that. It's fine. No, no. Eagle. Eagle, though. I said research, though. Why is she still doing it? Hey. Yeah. Research, though. And why is she why is she not paying attention to me? Research. Priority one. She's not build like construction is priority two. Is there a spare oh. She dug up the power lines and didn't rebuild them. <laughs> Understandable. Um oh it's okay, everyone's got the fucking plague. We've got to re-roll our storyteller as well. So I'll, I'll do that in a second. Um now that she's given us plague, why not re-roll her, eh? Um Yankee Danky, Jackson Woodman, Icarus, Grentley Grimble, and Bigger Stickers all have the plague. 
There are varying types of plague. There's like pneumonic plague and bubonic plague. I think bubonic plague is the one that kills you. I don't think the game really cares though. It's just a plague either way. Um, pain plus twenty percent. That's really bad. All right. Um, you guys all go and get to bed. Shit, we don't have enough beds for this many plague victims. Shit. Uh, Eagle. Oh, my good friend Eagle Throog. Uh, you get you get back to constructing then. All right. We need another bed. Shit, that's annoying. Um, put it there, I guess. I mean, uh, it kind of blocks the medicine, though. We'll put it there. Fine. You know what? Vitals monitors also wouldn't go amiss. I definitely should have researched those long before now. So that's my mistake. The fire. I mean, I'm going to... Last time I disabled firefight, I forgot to put it back on. And then when there was a serious fire, I, I didn't actually do anything about it in time. Shit. You're really going to do this first? Um, let's just prioritize it. Go, go, and, go and do that first before you do anything else. Now, are, are our doctors treating you? Oh, my God. Icarus is the one that's ill, though. Shit. Who's our backup doctor? Uh... Pussy destroy access, pussy destroy, of course. Where are you? Um, yeah, like, actually going doctor, though? Tending to pick a stick is right, finally, thank you. I sometimes I'd appreciate it if you set a job to have priority one, that they stop what they're doing, and then actually go and do that. You know, rather than finishing their job. Oh, I'll just haul some bamboo back to the base before I do that. Yeah, don't worry about it. Play can wait. Uh, sorry, there's some bamboo that needs hauling. Again, why are you doing this? They better all be fucking fully healed. Plague Miner. Who else was it? It was Yankee Nanky. Plague Miner. Jackson Woodman. Icarus. No, you haven't. Oi! Big Halberd. Uh, where is Big Halberd? Hey, hurry. B, 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 B. Do big. Oh, there you are. Right. Why is it like this? Remember, sometimes you actually absolutely infuriate me. Holy shit. Right, we've got an extra bed as well there for whoever else was ill. Are they all have bed rest set to maximum? Yeah, right. We're good then. Okay. We've got plenty of medicine too, so they should be able to heal from this fairly easily, I'd say. Um. 12% immunity is up to 14%, and it took him a while to be uh, healed as well. Shit. Although, Icarus is looking a little dodgy. We've got to stay on top of that, otherwise we could find ourselves quickly losing a lot of colonists here. Alright, so I've got our two D8 ready. They look like D6. Trust me, they've got eight sides. Don't worry. So, again, Peaceful is one. Builder is two, three. Medium, four, five. Rough, six, seven. Savage, eight. That way we've got the lowest chance of getting Savage and Peaceful just to keep things a little bit... So we're not going to get wiped out e immediately, basically. Right then. Let's go ahead and roll our dice. And then again, we've got one for Storyteller as well here. All right. Rerun. We've got a seven for Storyteller. So that is... Oh, it's her again, really? Sh shit. Okay, fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's her again. And then we got difficulty three. So it's one, two, three. Oh, shit, we're on Builder. Man, that seems a little bit unfair. I might re-roll that just so we get a different storyteller so that it's a little bit harder than that. All right, take two. Um, one and four. That sounds a bit more reasonable. Okay. And one, two, three, four. Cassandra on medium. Fine. It's not too bad. We're still in for a pounding because we've got a lot of wealth in the base. And, uh, you know, that last storyteller was fairly easy. She was lots of minor inconveniences. So we haven't had a true big raid in a while. Hopefully, Cassandra can give me, give us what we want there. So let's wait and see how this plays out. Still got the plague to deal with, obviously, from that last one, because she's a big shit. Um, right, so if you remember last episode, I was like, let's replace this with mud and then roof over it. We haven't roofed over it. Why haven't we roofed over it? Not entirely sure. Why are we not roofing over this area? Hey, someone, someone, someone come and do this for me. Thank you. That'll stop trees and plants growing as well. So that will just remain pure mud, boys. All right, Eagle Throog, what are you up to? Consuming lavish meal, playing billiards. We still lost power to this room. Sure, I don't want to do research anyway. Thanks, Eagle. The downside to Eagle being a an absolute mecha monster is that when the when the sermon begins, she sprints there faster than you know, faster than the speed of fucking light. Gets to the altar and delivers the sermon before everybody else even knows that it's happening. So we might suffer from some cult mindedness because Eagle Throog is such a ridiculously powerful beast. We'll cross that hurdle when we get there. I mean, when cult mindedness gets to the to the stage where we're facing rebellions, I'll try and find. We'll, we'll just set ourselves a different preacher or something, I guess. Right? Why is this wall not being built? It's another one of those weird wall bugs where they just don't build particular like these ones as well. Why aren't these being built? Try again. I mean, they clearly had the resources. She just wasn't able to do it for some reason. Oh, she's back to researching now. All right, well, enough of building for today. And what are we researching again? Oh, yeah, advanced bridge building for the for the power. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that bridge building took no time at all. Right, now let's try it then. So we go uh, structure, heavy bridge. Um, where can we build that? Oh, shit, you can only build it in the shallow water. Okay, so that, okay, that's kind of fair, though, I will admit. That's not that's not completely ridiculous. Right, so we want to build, like, a just a big old platform and just twat it full of, uh, wait. Heavy deep water bridge. Oh, shit. We could just bridge over the whole fucking thing, eh? Huh. Um, again, I think I'll just build one here for now. 
just to see if this works. Uh, what's the sort of thickness that these things take up? So it's only a 3x3 three three area according to this. Okay then, so what we do is we go... Um, still heavy bridge. Do it 3 by the closest... Oh, we could do 3 by 15 And, oh, wait, but surely they take up a bigger area than that. That doesn't make any sense. Really? So we could put one there and then, like, one there? That doesn't seem right. Okay, we'll wait and see how it, what happens anyway. Um, can we can we start work on this, though, Igor? What do we need? Steel? Yeah, okay, sweet. And we, we've got steel, right? We've got some steel? Okay, we do have some steel there. Now, I have also increased the... Uh... Oh, God, here we go. Okay, our first raid. Since we've gathered a lot of wealth. Oh, God, that's quite a few. What are they? Are they... Oh, my God, they're commandos. All right, well, it was fun. This is the end of the campaign. Thank you for playing, guys. I hope you really enjoyed... Like, genuinely, this could be the end of the campaign because these guys are ridiculously OP. If we win, though, nothing can beat us because these are the strongest factions out there. Um, right. Robots, uh, robots go home. Rom Romans go home. Let's get everybody out there ready to fight. PU555, destroy. You're useless. Elizabeth, you're useless. Jackson Woodman, you're useless. And everyone else, get down here. Oh, man. They're all equipped with quite OP guns as well, aren't they now? We've all got OC defense rifles and shit. Yeah, we do. Ted Bundy doesn't have a gun. <laughs> Understandable. I mean, I don't see why that's such a bad thing in hindsight. You Go on, Ted. Go grab yourself a gun. You're not, like, incapable of violent, are you? Because that would be incredible. Um... Oh, I mean, he's fucking crap at everything else. But no, what violence is the one thing he actually can do. Oh, Ted. Typical Ted Bundy. <laughs> All right, let's get Eagle up front and personal because she's going to be our our main slayer here. Right, let's get Nick down there. I'm trying to spread these boys out as much as possible for obvious reasons so we've got less uh, less incoming fire. Oh, shit. This is going to be a massacre, isn't it? Grantly Grimble, are you capable of violent? Um... Yes, you are. Grab yourself a gun, my friend. We could give him an Orion rocket launcher. The issue is, I want to knock them down and strip them, not completely remove them from planet Earth or planet Rim. Um, go and grab yourself yourself a little bit of a nice rifle there. And uh, who don't I care about? Go fit yourself nicely between Ted Bundy. Go stand next to Ted Bundy. <laughs> All right. I told a joke about Ted Bundy. What did you do? <laughs> even attacked and we've got a man down. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Christ, I need to breathe. Help me. Oh, just... <laughs> Forget in that. Oh, that's too good. Oh, wow, that hurt. <laughs> Ted, for fuck's sake. This is life or death. You can't just knife people. God damn. All right, get ready to lose everything here, boy. Oh, those look like they're moving so far. Oh, God, they've got bionics as well. Oh, shit, they've all got bionics. Take them alive. Oh my god, are these the really OP bollocks? They fucking are. Jesus, honestly, I'm I'm in so much pain. That caught me off guard so much. <laughs> Shit. Alright, no, I'm good. Oh, hand breathe. Okay, here we go. Keep them alive. These bollocks are really OP. Let's get Super Eagle. Oh my god, look at how strong they are. Holy shit. Really? Oh, to be fair, though, we've got their broken guns now. Look at me. I'm Captain Now, Irish. Ted Bundy. Yo, Ted Bundy? Uh, what are you doing? We actually need you in position, if you don't mind. Oh, Christ. Please, please don't. Please don't kill any of my people. Oh, please don't kill. Look at this. We've got the most overpowered weapon. With the second set of most over These are the most overpowered weapons, I'm surprised. You wait till we've got everybody with these. Holy shit, we're going to destroy everyone. I hope that the fire doesn't spread. Oh, Christ. It is. I, I'm so tempted to send somebody. Eagle. Eagle, you're fast. Sprint Eagle. Pick. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Grab, 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 grab. Grab. Kill him. Run, Eagle. <gasps> we put down another one. They're going to try and steal what they can and leave. They're basically just going to get right then. Kentish? <laughs> Can't like Kent. <laughs> Kentish. <laughs> um. 
Oh, man, please just put out the fire. Fuck it. We'll fight the last guy in the kill box. It's going to be a kill box, but for us. What if we are the kill box? Open fire. Good good job. Right, okay. Put out those fires. For fuck's sake, we need these APB rifles. They're so overpowered. And we're actually going to get them all, aren't we? Oh, my God. We're going to be out of the fire. Man, holy fuck. Grantly Grimble's still alive. <laughs> Ooh, man, my heart. Christ, that was too good. All right, team. Um, of course, <laughs> Ted Bundy. Just look up. If you don't know who Ted Bundy is, go look up Ted Bundy. All right. Um, you guys have all learned yourself, except maybe not you, Ted Bundy. You've all learned yourself some new guns. Get these hauled urgently. Get these hauled urgently. Strip these boys. Their armor is so good. I'm kind of almost tempted just to give everyone the armor because it's so fucking good. Uh, oh my god, they've got speed skin suits. So for those of you who don't know, speed skin suits are ridiculously broken. Yeah, you're reading that right. Global work speed plus 400%. They are exceptionally broken. They're exceptionally OP. How many did we get? We got one. Please. We got one. We got one. We, we got one. <gasps> we got two. That's so fucking broke. So let me just uh, just put this into perspective. It's Yankee Danky, go strip him. Uh, Yankee Danky can't wear it. Right, so that's going to go to Rhino. Igor, uh, you can equip that one then. I don't care if it's tainted. Honestly, fuck it. You watch her speed. Watch watch Throog. Look at this. She is known as Zumi Throog. <laughs> Holy shit, what have we done? Man, that's insanely good. And this is why this faction is extremely broken. Um, Honestly, that they're... they're not only are they difficult to beat, not only will they just drop in and destroy your colony instantly, but if you win, you will beat everything. They're so overpowered in terms of if you beat them and actually grab their gear. They're meant to be like this really end game raid, which is understandable. We are kind of at the, we're not really at the end game, more than we're, we're quite a rich colony because of all the loot that we've actually accrued. But my god, like, we're actually going to be unstoppable now because of, of all this, like, even two speed skin suits is an absolute game changer, to be honest with you. Shame we only got two, though. I was kind of expecting more than that. All right, who wants the other speed skin suit? I guess it would go to Rhino. You know what? I'd like it to, to give it to someone in the quarry. Who's our best miner? Who's the best human miner? Um, of course, it'd be fucking Eagle Throog. Um, biggest dick is an alien. Icarus. Wait, Icarus? Icarus is also a doctor. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Icarus, uh, you can come and have this one then, friend. Man, we, we, we've, we've ascended. We've just ascended to a ridiculous level. So it's beast can suits, eh? Don't know about you guys, but it uh, seems pretty good to me. Holy shit. Kind of game-breaking in a way. If we play again, I may be tempted to completely disable them. Now, one of the mods that I have got that we have, unfortunately haven't really touched on yet is the post-mortem... Uh, what do you call it? Like, organ... Organ harvesting? Something along those lines? It's the autopsy. The advanced autopsy, surely. Um, or precise in... No, 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 no. What? Is an autopsy not after... From oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, we, we, we want these. I th an autopsy is after death, right? So why would it not say allows you to harvest organs after death? Why would it just say... I don't know. It, it, it's phrased it very strangely. Anyway, that's what we want to grab because obviously... Characters, if those turn up again, even if we kill them, we can just get the, the organs from them. Maybe, wait, 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 dig them back up, dig them back up. Hey, someone come and dig these back up, put them on ice. We might just be able to actually get their organs out of them. Sorry, PU554. Oh, Christ. Uh, ooh. Okay. Um, Fresh? We need to, we need a cooler for fresh bodies. I might have to put some fresh bodies. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I know it's going to upset you all, but we do need some fresh bodies in the freezer. Um, Storage. Allow fresh. Uh, human corpses? <laughs> uh, kind of has to happen, eh? If you could come and open this other one for me as well. Just to open them all. Let's get these hauled urgently, if you don't mind. Let's just get, uh, so you're, you don't have anything, so I'm not interested in you. So forbid you, uh, get this one hauled, he's got an advanced bionic. Like, he's got an advanced bionic here. He's got an advanced bionic hand. Now, these are also incredibly broken. And give, look at that, manipulation plus 100%. Eagle Throog is going to be king, queen, Super powered eagle. Uh, any arms? Because the arms are... Oh, my, there's another leg. So that's two barnet legs for eagle. See if we manage to get them. You've got to bear in mind that it, it's quite difficult to get them as well. Um, what about you? Ear? That'll do. And if you could go and open the final one as well. And what have you got? Another another arm. Oh, man. Um, yeah, no. These, these need hauling urgently. Go for it, friends. There we go. 
I guess we'll now wait until we got the autopsy research. Oh man, we, we might have just completely broken everything. And that's so good. Granted, Grimwald died of the plague. Because obviously we had them all preparing to fight. Shit, that was really close. He was at 99%. I'm sorry about that. But we had to fight off the Orion Corp. Uh, not even the Orion Corp, the Commandos. So they didn't get a chance to bed rest. I feel like he's the only person that we're going to lose to the plague though. Yeah, that's, that's such a massive shame. Everyone else just survived it. But Grantley Grimwald just wasn't strong enough. Grantley, I've I've actually failed you here. What what was he at? 90%. Immunity was 62%. <laughs> yeah, he didn't really stand a chance. Sorry about that. I mean, there was not, not much we could do. The, the whole right kidney not being there also didn't help. Shit. Um, you deserve a proper sarcophagus burial. We're going to build a tomb. Uh, thanks to Alchemia's video that he linked me. We're going we're gonna to build a proper tomb for all of you, you lovely colonists who are lost. We'll, we'll attach you to the church here. What we need is a mecha throug. Oh, Lord. She coming. That's right. Gathers for a sermon. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. Throug, I need you to mine all of this, if you don't mind. Or not. Hang on. Give, give her a minute. She's got some other things. Apparently more important. Right. I'm going to set her mining to priority one. And then theory. She's just, just going to dig this out. This is going to be our autopsy room. It's also going to be our sort of... Um, our sort of cloning room. We'll expand it as we need it. That type of thing. Um, right now, like I said, just an autopsy room. So we can get these really good vital organs. Or the, or the bionics out of these characters. That are currently lying around in our freezer. Apparently making Yankee Yankee go a bit insane. Why is he in a freezer? Hey, do you want to get out of there, weird man? All right, uh, Eagle, let's get these walls done, if you don't mind. This is so overpowered. Like, actually disgustingly overpowered. Why is she not... Hey, finish... Oh, man, these walls are a little bit bugged, aren't they? All right, hey, do you want to finish that one? There we go. All right, we can actually do it now. Nice. Uh, let's get an auto door put on this one. So they're not going to lose too much heat. Okay, or dig it out first. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Ted Bunny caught on it. I don't want to even talk about Ted Bunny anymore. Why aren't you finishing this door? We haven't got any bones? You're lying to me. We've got loads of bones. Eagle, finish the fucking door. What? I hate this game so much. Sometimes. Like, oh, there we go. Right, she can actually do it now. Okay, we're good. Right, and then this is going to be for, if we go production, we want autopsy table. Um, How many of those do we want? I guess just one for now, eh? Let's get autopsy table and prioritize working. Now, what this does, this is really cool. So, butcher for organs. Do forever. And then we'll say in a radius of um, the freezer, basically. Obviously, we don't want to butcher. We don't want to butcher Grentley Grimble. You deserve a proper tomb. My thick, my young thick boy. Um, need material? What do you mean you need material? You've, you've got material. But boys, there's like actual. Which are a creature with internal, to attend its internal organs while still fresh? Uh, fresh? Definitely fresh. Fresh? Fresh? What? Why, why you can't do? Medicine? Shit, maybe we, maybe we need medicine. Hang on. Guys, one corpse, one medicine. Do we not have medicine? We, no, we've got medicine. We've clearly got medicine right there. Maybe we just need a, a better doctor? Can I put you forward? We need material. What the fuck do you mean you need material? Uh. Am I insane? Am I, am I doing something wrong? Bills? Butcher for organs. Just make sure I didn't set the... Oh, hang on. You were like corpses? Manu manufactured medicine? How about now? There we go. All right, Igor. Get on with it. Let's see what we... Oh, we can use turbo medicine for it as well. That's really cool. B biggest dick is as a corpse session. We'll just go in the freezer, my friend. we got plenty going for you there. Um, did we get anything from that? Or did she just chop his fucking head off? Um, don't know if we actually got anything from that. Oh, there we go. Advanced Barnick here. Sweet. That's a good start. Thank you, Igor. Um, oh shit, did we not finish the advanced autopsy? Oh god, okay, I uh, cancel. Cancel everything. Cancel this. Uh, until we finish the other one. Pause. Shit, my mistake. Uh, yeah, let's, let's not waste these corpses on potentially nothing. All them. Why is this freezer not counting as, you know, frozen? At minus five degrees, why are you... Frozen, won't spoil. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's just because where we had that door open, Fred just went for Eagle to build it. Alright, let's wait for the research to be finished, then we'll go back to that in a second. Alright, that's our advanced autopsy done. So I'm actually going to get our best surgeon, I assume, to work on this. That's going to be Icarus. So Icarus, you're going to be the one doing all of the uh, the Icarus. Prioritize operating. Hopefully this will give us better results. Maybe we'll actually manage to get more organs. Maybe we'll get the better organs. I'm not entirely sure. We got one of the good organs anyway, the advanced bionic ear. Um, nothing from that guy, really. What have you got? Let me just check. So we're looking to get an advanced bionic leg. 
Uh, nothing? Was that was that a failure? I don't know what that means. Seems we got a high failure chance then, eh? Nothing from that dude either? Um, that's a little bit worrying. Okay. And that's it. Need, need materials, what do you mean? We got... Oh, that's it. We got an advanced bionic hand there, if you want to actually grab that one. No, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, Cruise of Radius. Eagle, you, you give it a go? Man, that's a real shame. I was kind of hoping it would be a bit more uh, productive than that. I guess... Wait, are they, is it because they're using shitty medicine? Maybe that is something to do with it. Hang on. Uh, cancel that. Use just medicine. That should cancel the bill, right? There we go. Uh, try again. Need material. We've got we've got material. Hey, we've got material. It's it's here. I'm looking at it. What do you mean you need fucking material? Details. Medicine. Eleven. Oh, because the ingredient range is twenty. <laughs> right. Okay. Fair enough. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, copy settings. Delete that zone. Build a new zone. Pop our zone there. Uh, paste settings. Eagle. Go and haul this. Prioritize hauling the medicine. Right, okay. Let's try this again, then. Maybe maybe that is part of it. Maybe that's my own fault. Um, I never really considered that the medicine would have an effect. We did get something out of that, so that unfortunately might be the case. I might have just wasted a shit ton of good organs there. Oh, well. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, you might as well finish the... Oh, we're done. Why, why can't we... What's wrong with these boys? Oh, because they're damaged. Right. Well, fair enough. Okay, get these corpses out of my goddamn freezer. We don't, we don't want them. Hey, uh, corpses... No human corpses, thank you. If we could get these hauled as soon as possible, that would be very ideal. Thank you. Um, real bit, bit of a shame that we only got one ear and one hand, but that will still make Eagle much more powerful. Add Bill. Install. Um, advanced Barnic ear and a left ear. I don't, I'm not, don't really care about the ear. And an advanced Barnic hand and a right hand, because Eagle threw his right handed because she's a sensible individual. Right. Go to bed. Icarus, if you could do me a great favor and turn Eagle... Even more overpowered than she currently is. That would be ideal. Thank you very much for that. Then, uh... Oh, the bridge is done. Nice. So, let's take a look. Um, oh my god, we can. Oh, hang on. But that's a, that's a fucking issue. I never considered that genius. Um... Right. Yeah, we've got that thing to deal with. Right, so we need, we need a little bit more on the end here. And then we build... That like that. Right, okay, fair enough. So we can actually do my original plan of basically harvesting the whole river. I can make it very, very efficient and try and maximize the amount of squares that we've got. Running it up and down would be the most would be the best method rather than running it along, I suppose. I think you could pack more in that way. The only issue is hang on, does that still count as a moving river though? Or is that blocked? No, see that's blocked by that. Right. So what you'd want to want to run is a series of um water mills down like this so now that i know that let's start it fresh i might even dismantle these two now we'll leave them up until we've actually got the first layer done and let's go ahead and uh just plan this out so what do we need go up to like there eh? so i took a screenshot so i can plan this out a bit better um want to go from like there so if we build it like that, in theory, we should be able to get ourselves a decent amount of water mill generators whacked onto there. Let me just get a good idea of how many we can actually get. So that's going to be uh, one, and then the next one will have to go two. I reckon we could just fit about three in there if we if we cut back on this mountain somewhat. Yeah, that could work. Now we could always alternate them as well. Go like one, and then alternate it two. That's not going to infringe on one another, is it? Oh, you know what? If we pushed it, if we made it four blocks thick, that could work really, really well. Then we've got one that side and one that side, and we can just pack them in as close as possible. Right. Good idea, Brain. Okay. Um, Let's do let's do this, then. Let's, let's put another block on the end. And then, instead, we'll do that idea, because I feel like that one would work quite well. Right. There we go. Okay. So then what we're going to do is my plan. We'll have one there. And then... Oh, you want to push it right onto the edge, though. Right, yeah. And then flip this one and put it there. And then flip this one and put it there. And that way we can have probably like five on this side rather than three. And then we could just... It's going to build fewer bridges and we're basically going to get the same amount of water mill generated. So this is going to work out pretty well, I think. Why? Someone, someone had a corpse obsession, didn't they? And now Alchemia is lying on um, Hotel Throog's dining room table. Hmm. Yeah, get him reburied. That's a good idea. Thank you for that. I, I imagine that's partially down to why people are a lot pissed off. I mean, that and the freezer filled with corpses probably didn't help either. That sounds like a cannibal corpse song, doesn't it? Freezer filled like corpses. How are we doing? Blue fur cultist hood, speed can suit, a running com Christ, where's she gone? Eagle. I bet I had time to see you. Alright, uh, let's check her tab. My god, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? 
Butchery speed. Oh my god. Construction speed. 4,878%. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Big shout out to my insane top tier level patrons, Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Salting, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Jackson Whitman, Escape, Croesus, James Ogilvie, Conspired Team, Necrophilum, Michael Mullen, Haydog, Orcs Wolf, Josh Lindin, Tesla, and Logan Thorne for their support of the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you all very much for that. It's highly appreciated. And of course, a big shout out to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Facundo Vasquez, Felix Deal, Quet Lutchley, Brandon Wintoniak, Polemaster, Everqueen is Waifu, Quasar Fox, Jonas Jeff Villerton, Chris, Joseph Beer, Sir Thor the Swede, Nick, Sedini, Asro, Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpatine, Euphrates, Jordan Campbell, Euron DeVries, I'm the Lizard King, Dunkone217, and the many, many others over at Patreon. Thank you very much for that.